Alright, what's up YouTube? Exploding Window here, and welcome to a Onward tutorial for Oculus Touch. So I'm going to be running through some stuff, all the controls, how to do stuff, you know, where to pick up things, and how to do them. So, we're going to jump right into it, and, uh, and we're going to kick some ass. Actually, there's nobody, nobody's ass to kick. So, uh, we'll start off with Marsoc. Um, we'll actually start off with the menu. So, when you get into a game, you know, you'll click War, and then join a match, or search for a match, or whatever. When you join a game, you load into this lobby. There's Marsoc on the left and Volk on the right, or it switches depending on the match. Um, and then what that means is that it's the two teams. So you pick a helmet, you can grab these helmets, they're little physical objects that you grab, but when you put them on, you have to put it on, and then you join that team. So I just joined Marsoc. You can go back and switch teams if you want, if there's enough room, and put on the Volk and vice versa. Um, but we're going to start with Marsoc, since that is, you know, the American type weapons. Um, let's start off with Rifleman first class that you see. There's three of them here just in case, you know, all four people want to be riflemen or whatever. Um, but there's five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different weapons. And uh, we're going to run through them all and show you how they all work. They're mostly the same, so actually we might, we might only do a few of them, but uh, let's start with the SCAR. <clears throat> so here, you know, your primary two attachments and your ammo. The ammo, AP is armor piercing, FMJ is Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket is just going to be more effective towards flesh body targets. Armor piercing is uh, more effective towards body armor, like that. What's up, wall? <clears throat> How you doing? You can grab these guns behind you and play with stuff. You can even, you know, throw them with stuff and grab the bottle if I have enough room over here. Yep. Oh, that's the gun. Oh yeah, so you can even kind of inspect the gun and look at it a little bit and, you know, see how you like it. I wonder if you can even, uh... oh shit, you can look through the scope too. That's kind of cool. Um, so right now, <clears throat> this is recording my left eye, so I look through the gun with my right eye, so you won't be able to see me looking down the scope, but oh well. So, you got your 4x scope, your iron sights, red dot, and holographic for riflemen. Now, other classes, some of them do have the 12x scope, obviously if that's for long range. You have the foregrip, suppressor, laser sight, and flashlight. Some of them don't have the foregrip, some of them don't have other ones, it just kind of depends on the weapon. And then of course, the AP and armor, ar armor piercing and FMJ. I think armor piercing... Or no, FMJ gives you more ammo, so you get more clips on you, uh, which is a good thing to know. Grenades, so you got your explosive, secondary, and extra. The explosives, you got grenades, smoke grenades, stun grenade. Uh, secondary, you got three different pistols to choose between each class. Marsoc has the Glock, the 1911, and the M9. Uh, the extras, body armor, night vision, two more syringes to heal yourself and somebody else. And then a smoke grenade. And a stun grenade, of course. So you get one syringe per round for you or a teammate. Um, you can only use it once. It's used to revive people or heal yourself. <clears throat> so if you have two extra syringes, you can heal yourself and revive two other teammates. Or heal yourself three times. Whatever you want, you know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and... Let's do the night vision because I'll show you how that works too. And we'll do the grenades. The grenades are self-explanatory. They all pull the pin and throw it, but I'll show you how to throw it. So let's start off with these. You hit confirm loadout, and then if you're the host... The start mission will be right here. If you're not host, there will be a timer, and you know who's ever starting will start it. Sorry if that's a lot of info so far. Oh, I was off screen the whole time. <clears throat> Sorry if that's a lot of info so far. I just kind of want to run over everything we can. <clears throat> okay, so when you get into a game, you're gonna have your hands. You can kind of uh, base it if you want controllers or hands. You can go in the menu in the main menu and kind of change that. But I like hands because it's realistic. Um, you have two options. You can have your gun on your side like this, or you can have it in front of you kind of like down here. It'll be like, like that. And then your pistol will be on your side. I kind of like this because it's easier for my VR stock. If I have it, I can go down and grab it and be ready. Um, okay, so for Oculus, it's going to be the grip buttons to pick your guns up. So you go grip button near your pistol, you press it once, and you got it in your hand. Press it again against your chest and it'll put it away. Same thing with the big rifle. With the grip, you can have proximity uh, or button. So the proximity means if you get close to the grip, you'll hold on to it. If you move far enough away, it'll pull off. If you just press the grip button, you'll be on there until you move far enough away and it'll pull off. So I like the grip button because you can only you only have to press it once. And of course, you pull the trigger. It works just like a real gun would, you know. So for these, you can see on here, you got automatic and single fire. So you click the thumbstick, click the right thumbstick in your right hand just once, and that'll select fire. So you can get single shot. You know, single shot. To empty the clip on the U.S. guns, you click the stick in and press and hold down on the... You push the thumbstick down. That drops the clip out. You have another clip on your chest, so you'll grab... You'll press the regular trigger. This one, not the grip button, but... The, uh, excuse me, the regular trigger. That pulls out another one. You put it in. And if you're empty, 
cock it back. But if you know you're not empty, you don't have to cock it back because you already have one in the chamber and it'll just load it like a regular gun. And you can keep shooting. So that's the the rifles. That they all kind of work like that. You know, you got the bolt on the side. You kind of have to look for some of the bolts. Um, some of the uh, the Russian weapons have the bolt up front, up top. So you kind of have to reach towards the barrel and pull back. G36 is like on the top, and the you know they're all different. Pistols, self-explanatory. It's a pistol. Works exactly how it should. If you line up the sights here, I'll do it with my left eye so you guys can see. If you line up the sights, boom, that's perfect. You can press. So if you shoot, see how much recoil I have. But if you use both hands, no recoil at all. Uh, the pistols, same thing. That's with all pistols. You click on the thumbstick and hold down. Clip drops out. Begin. Regular trigger. Put it in. Cock it back. You don't need to cock it back because you know you have a round in the chamber if you do. But I'll do this with my left eye. Do that. If you line up the sights properly, you can hit somebody from really fucking far away. See, I hit that guy way over there. Um, so that's pistols and rifles. That's basically, you know, the gist of it. It's really easy. Movement, of course. Thumbstick. Left thumbstick. You move around. Now, that moves in the direction that your hand is moving. So it's the direction of your left hand. Your right hand doesn't matter. If that's in direction, it doesn't matter, because that's the hand you pull out your guns with and stuff, so they don't want that affected. Um, so to move, you basically you can turn around, or Oculus Touch has the option, if you go into the menus, you have a turn style. I even have room scale. I have three sensors, but I still like to do this sometimes, because I'll get tangled in my cords, and I kind of want to switch. And Most of the time, I just want to be facing the camera. So if I can do that, that's great. If I need in a dire situation, I can turn around, and I can get on the ground. Oh, ah, I can shoot. You know, I can do all that because I have three sensors. I have one, uh, one pointing directly down right here, so it comes right down, so I can get real low and stuff, so that's an ideal setup if you're using Oculus. Um, so, grenades. So that's, that, I mean, movement's self-explanatory. Oh, to sprint. You double tap the, the thumbstick and move forward. If you're holding a gun and you're moving forward, you want to hold it down. You run faster. So it's just like Counter-Strike, you know. Speaking of knife, grip button to your left shoulder. You'll feel a little vibration, a little tick. You press the grip button and you have your knife. To kill somebody with this, you press the regular trigger, the fire trigger, and you stab it into them. So if I were to do this in my head, it doesn't work. But if I were to press the trigger, see, killed myself. <laughs> Give me a second, I gotta respawn. So that's how you kill yourself. <laughs> okay, so the automatic rifleman, um, we'll try these out. We'll go back to the uh, Marsoc side and I'll show you what this, these are like. That gives me a good time to switch, so... Um, we'll try night vision again, I'll show you exactly what that does, and then we'll work on grenades. I mean, to be honest, there's no real quick way to show how this game works. There really needs to be an in-depth tutorial, but, you know, v videos like this are going to help a lot of people, so... This game is rising up into the ranks, and it it's been real fun. Okay, so, the big guns, you they're not loaded at the beginning of the round. So, what you have to do, you have to pull this latch up, uh, feed the bullet belt into the, the into the, uh, fucking, what's it called, the, the chamber, I guess. You put the latch back down, and you pull the bolt back, you cock it back, and then you're ready to rock. And this, this thing, this thing, uh, as one of my friends say, it lays the dick. Now you don't have select fire on these, of course, because they're it's an automatic rifle. Um, so once you're uh, once you're out of ammo, you know you'll uh, you drop it out just like the other ones. So okay, on bigger weapons like this, in the the Russian weapons, you have to push, click the stick in, pull down, and grab the clip. And you have another one on you. You know, same idea, pull it back, load the belt, bullet belt in. Come on. Cock back, ready to rock. Okay. So now grenades. Uh, regular trigger. Shooting trigger. You push that and you pull the grenade off. You put it back just like that. Um, pull the pin with this trigger. And to throw it, what the best way to throw it is, is in the middle of your throw let go of the button. So, like, right now, let it go. Don't let it go at the top of your throw like you usually want to, because this is velocity, not momentum. So you go. You kind of shot put it. The easiest way I've found is to shot put it. And, of course, it'll blow up. Flash grenades, smoke grenades, they're all the same thing. Um, they work exactly the same, so self-explanatory there. The syringe. So, you're again, your fire trigger is to pick up secondary items um, and clips and things like that. You'll go up to somebody, here, let's see, if I shoot myself in the hand, ah! yeah, I'm injured now, so you'll grab the thing, and you'll click the stick in your hand. You'll click the stick and pull the trigger, sorry. 
squeezing it, injecting it. Night vision. When you have night vision equipped, it's on top of your head. You don't need to pull it out somewhere and put it on. Go to the top of your head where you can't see your hand anymore. Press the trigger, press the fire trigger, and pull down. And boom, your night vision's on. It does not work well in bright scenarios. Like, you can tell here, can't see. I got lucky there, that guy over there. An unlucky day. So, that's night vision. Self-explanatory again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end myself here. Okay. Sorry, that's brutal. Body armor is kind of, again, self-explanatory. You put it on and it works. Um, now let's work on some of these specialist classes. So, I'm just going to run through on here. The G36, the bolt latch is here. So when you're ready to rock, you put another clip in, you pull the bolt latch. It's under this Picatinny rail here. So you just pull it back and you're ready to go. The grip is the same thing. You can... You can change that to a suppressor, but you can still hold on to the rail. Um, the valve is a little suppressed uh, submachine gun. The shotgun is the Spots 12, so you don't need to cock it back. You just aim and fire, and that's that's all it is. And to reload it, you just put the, the shotgun shells in. Um, AK-74U, that's that's you know self-explanatory as well. Um, so let's go back and try the uh, the marksman. Now the bolt action. We'll do this because this is the most in-depth, you know, harder one to do. Um, and then we'll try some stun grenades and maybe try a smoke too. You can get, you know, different pistols on the, the Russian side as well. So I'll show you what the suppressor sounds like. So we got the 12x scope, iron sights, and four times for the marksman. Um, I like the 12x because I have a VR stock. It's a lot easier to shoot that way. It's a lot more steady and all that. If you can get a VR stock or even make one, it's really well worth it. So, these. The beginning of the round, they're ready to fire. Oh, I'll do it with my left eye so you guys can see it. I missed. Uh, after you fire, this is a semi-automatic bolt-action rifle. You grab with your uh, shooting trigger on either hand. It doesn't matter which hand. You can even ungrip this hand, keep that, and pull it back in like you normally would. It's kind of awkward for me for some reason, but it works. And you have to fire. You pull it back, and you fire. So that's self-explanatory, right? And then when you're done, pull the trigger, click the thumbstick down, and pull down, and you pull out the clip. Same thing, and you're ready to rock. So, smoke grenades, kind of the same deal. You can overhand it, but see, it doesn't work as well, honestly. So that's just a smoke grenade, nothing fancy here. Um, flash grenade is kind of the same thing. You can A lot of people flick their wrist, which doesn't get it as far, but if you stare at the flash grenade, guess what happens? You get flashed, you're totally white. And it's for about five seconds or so. And you're still kind of disoriented afterwards, so it's, uh, it's pretty effective in, in real games. The tablet, the most important thing when you're diffusing a comms array, which they don't have one here, but we'll just say uh, this guy right here is the comms array. Um, so this guy right here is the comms array. You know, we'll uh, stab him a bit, and we'll pull out our tablet. So you can either go behind your head, or you can go behind your back. And the way you do that is you press the B button on the right touch. So the B button. You go behind your back. You don't feel a vibration, but you'll press the B button and you'll see this little laser come out of your left hand. That means you know you got the tablet. So right about here, there'll be a code. And you'll click the code and it'll be, a, I think it's like a six or seven digit number. And you have to remember that code because once you're next to the comms array, um, there'll be send uplink. And when you send uplink, you have to type in the code. You, don't, you have to remember it. You have to go back, look at the code, remember it, and then type it in. And that diffuses the bomb. It's kind of like search and destroy, but you have to do it manually. So... And with that tablet, you can see where your enemies are, you can see where the objective is. You see like this little white thing here. You can see the objective would be over that way. So, you know, bearing 60. And you do have another compass on your wrist as well, so you can kind of see which way. If you're not wanting to pull out your tablet, you can kind of see in the middle of 45 and 90 would be 60. And that's exactly about where that would be. So, you can see enemies. If there's a couple of them left, you can see friendlies, you can see who's dead, all that. And obviously you can see your little self there. Take selfies and all that. No, you can't take selfies. The radio. Right hand, left shoulder. Shooting trigger. You can talk, you have to hold it to talk. When you let go, it's over. So you're talking, you know. Hey, I got contact on the left. That's all you need to do, so you talk. Um, there is 3D uh, spatial sound, so you can talk to somebody who's close to you. So if somebody's in that doorway, I can yell kind of loud and they can hear me. Um, so that's what you don't want to be too loud when you're kind of running around and scavenging and you know looking for people to shoot because they can't hear you through walls and stuff like that. 
they can sometimes hear your, uh, you, you communicate with your teammates. So. So pistols, you usually get three or four clips. Uh, you can't change your ammo on that, so once you run out, you're out. Okay, so that covers the basics of Onward. Um, we'll run through and we'll play a couple games and we'll see, show you how it works in a real scenario, and, uh, and we'll be good. Can I? I don't think I can. Okay, so to exit, you press the, uh, what is it, the Y button on your left controller. And you'll have an exit thing and you can press exit. In the middle of any game, you know, anytime you're in the middle of a game, you can do that. And then if you're in a lobby and you want to leave, turn to your left, and there'll be an exit right there. And you hit yes. On my team. Okay, boys, how we doing? Ready to go? Mm -hmm. doing like, like I'm uh, recording a tutorial video, right. so say hi to everybody. Go right. <laughs> go. Right. No? Okay, these guys are friendly. Yeah, sure, go right. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this map is called Suburbia. Um, on the back side, there's two spawn points. There's actually a few spawn points, but there's this side of the level and that side of the level. It's almost like Nuketown, just a little wider. Um, so Marsoc and, and Volk both start on respective sides every other round. Um, the objective, of course, you can find where that is at the playground right now. So I'm going to get into game mode and show you how I do the by thing. I don't have my VR stock on the okay. That guy's, uh... Lagging out. Hey, buddy, you're lagging out real bad. I gotta kill you. Okay, well, see, don't do that. <laughs> Our teammate was lagging out, and uh, he came up and killed me, so, oh well. Okay, niggas, let go. Hey, watch it, man. I'm black. Hey. Hey. <laughs> We're black now. I mean, that's, that's true. They are black. So we're on Volk's side and we're defending. So we gotta defend uh, the objective over there, wherever it is. Uh, there's always somebody around there. Dropped him. Oh, he got me with a grenade! Give me up! I'm still alive! Revive me if you can. So that's another thing. You can talk to your teammates if you're still revivable. I'm revivable right in front of you, bud. Poke me with a syringe real quick, man. Come on. Give me my face, man. Yeah, you're the best. Are you hurt? I can heal you. No, okay, he's, he's good. I'm not gonna bother. I think he's okay. Okay, so we got a stray over here. Got him. I got two so far. One of them's on the objective right now. Okay, so third one. Come back to base. Wait, really? That's a fucking not a friendly. The fuck are you guys doing not in the goddamn house? <laughs> fuck. Why does it say that guy's dead? Okay, well, confusing. I got three of them. Oh well. Okay. See So that's basically how things work. Um, to line up the site, you really just got to put the enemy right in front of it. And, uh, Sorry, it's really loud. God, it's really so fucking loud. Dante, we need to change that. Oh my goodness. So anyways, that was Onward. Um, you know, you can go around and play around with it. Figure out how to, how things work for you, which weapons you like the most, and you know, do all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.